Okay, we are going to go into the four-sided figures, all right, uh, particularly for the primary school. And there's a few four-sided figures, but uh, for this short session, we will look at only one of it, which is the parallelogram, all right. Now, to understand this four-sided figure, right, we must first understand this word, parallel. Okay, so what actually does it actually mean? So, in the event, if you have two lines are said to be parallel, okay, then the distance between them is the same right, all along their length. Okay, so they are the same distance, or uh, and if you keep on extending these two lines, they will never ever meet. Okay, they will never never meet. Okay, and the parallelogram actually uh, have two opposite side that is parallel, right, uh, and is equal in length. Okay, so the definition is here, but actually it's a little bit hard for uh, younger children to actually understand it, especially if you are in the primary school. Okay, so what does it actually mean? Okay, first of all, it's flat. Flat means it is two-dimensional. So, well, this is what it looks like. Okay, it's two-dimensional. Okay, not 3D. Okay, the opposite side are parallel. So, what does it actually mean? Let's have a look. Okay. So AB is a line, okay, AB, this is a line, CD is also a line. But if you look at AB and CD line, actually they are parallel to each other. Okay, I can keep on extending these two lines, they are always the same distance from each other and they will never meet. The same also for the other side. Okay, so AD all right, A, B, and B, C is parallel to each other, or it's parallel to each other, okay, all right, so the opposite side are parallel, but at the same time, it is equal in length, so the length of A, B is the same as the length of C, D. All right. And the length of AD is the same as the length of BC. Cool. So that is what it is defined here All right. in the definition. Okay. But sometimes the question comes out in angles. All right. They will ask you to look for angles. So uh, the first thing to look at is the opposite. Opposite angles are equal. So what does it mean? Opposite angle. So you see angle A over here, the opposite angle is C. They are the same. Alright. Then this angle B over here, the opposite angle is D. They are the same. Okay. But uh, parallelogram also have a special relationship. Uh, the each pair of angle between two parallel sides right, will add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so in class, actually, you will take a piece of paper, you will cut it out, and then you will see. Okay, but uh, of course, uh, I can't do this here. Well, I'm not going to do this here. Basically, I will just explain it using the same diagram that we have previously. Okay, so what it actually means is this angle A and this angle B, if I add them up, is actually 180. Okay, and it's quite easy to understand because if I extend the AB line, this part actually becomes the B. And the same also on the top. So the angle C okay, and the angle D, if I add them up, is 180 degrees. 